Good evening. There's a renewed push to create a law in New Mexico to punish people who don't secure their guns at home. This follows last week's shooting at Washington Middle School that left a 13-year-old student dead and another facing a murder charge. News 13's Rachel Knapp is here with the tales. Rachel. Jess and Dean, some state lawmakers want to hold gun owners responsible if they don't lock up their guns and keep them away from kids. But the idea is already facing some pushback. Friday's shooting at Albuquerque's Washington Middle School has rocked the community. 13-year-old Benny Hargrove was shot and killed, allegedly by another 8th grade student, Juan Saucedo Jr. The criminal complaint says Saucedo Jr. brought the gun, which belonged to his father, from home. The shooting is creating a renewed push from some state lawmakers to punish gun owners who don't lock up their guns. The point of the bill is to, is to make a strong statement from the state that you should secure your firearms. State Democratic Senator Antoinette Cedillo Lopez sponsored a bill this past legislative session that would have made it a misdemeanor if gun owners didn't lock up their guns and someone else got a hold of it. It's an educational function first, and then there's a consequence if you don't. Her bill cleared the committee but wasn't heard in the next. It's the fourth time in the past six years this type of legislation has been proposed in the Roundhouse, and Cedillo Lopez wants to try again during the next session. But Republicans say this proposal is unenforceable and unconstitutional. There was a Supreme Court case uh, that would have affected uh, Cedillo Senator Cedilla Lopez's bill. They refer to the Heller decision from the U.S. Supreme Court, which they say guarantees the right to possess firearms, and adds that this bill would put limitations on possessions of firearms. Cedilla Lopez disagrees. All constitutional rights, including the Second Amendment, require a balance between safety and the individual right. And here we have a lot of evidence that suicides in New Mexico, um, accidental shootings, and, and um, domestic violence shootings are all higher than the rest of the state. There is a problem in this state that can be addressed by a bill like this. Instead of this proposal, the House Republican leader says people should get behind police officers to make our community safer. We desperately need crime under control in Albuquerque. Unfortunately, all of those people that are committing those crimes don't really care what's on the statute. They don't care what laws are on the books. Since this next session is just 30 days, it'll be up to the governor what lawmakers should focus on. Her office says crime and criminal justice are among the top topics the governor wants to pursue. Back to you. All right, Rachel, thank you. About half of U.S. states have some sort of child access prevention laws. The city of Albuquerque tried to pass something similar last year, but it was voted down.